Hello, everybody. I offer you some coffee. My second cup of the day. That means that I'm gonna be on fire right now. I am gonna break the internet and I don't need to pretend to give myself head to do that. But I'll get to her in a second. I wanna start off things today by talking about Blake Shelton, People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. That choice has definitely polarized people. A lot of folk have said some very loud things about Blake Shelton getting that honor, some calling him ugly, others uh, disagreeing with that pick because they say that Blake Shelton is homophobic, problematic, kills animals, an avid hunter, and yada, 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 yada. Listen, I may not agree with the pick, but I'm not gonna rain on his parade, all right? Congratulations to him. I don't agree with everything he's said or done, but I don't think he's an awful human being, and I'm not going to begrudge him this silly, trivial, cool thing. Personally, though, I would have chosen Jesse Williams, the Grey's Anatomy actor and activist. That would have been much better, in my opinion, but hey, I'm not People Magazine. But I'm naming Jesse Williams to my list. Who would you have picked as the sexiest man alive this year? Also, I don't think Zac Efron has ever gotten that honor, and I'm butthurt about that. Seriously, what's up with that? Like, some dudes have gotten it over and over and over again, but Zac Efron has never been named Sexiest Man Alive. In other controversial uh, magazine news, Nicki Minaj is on the cover of the new issue of Paper Magazine, the Break the Internet edition, and unfortunately, this issue did no such thing. The internet was not brizoke. It remains functioning, although... Google Docs was broke today, and I nearly had a conniption for about a solid hour. I could not function. I work exclusively on Google Docs, like making notes, preparing my live broadcast, taking um, notes for the podcast. Like I live on Google Docs. Thankfully, it's working now. But anyways, back to Nicki Minaj. Nikki appears on the cover of paper, appearing to give herself head with her boobies hanging out. Wanna be Kim Kardashian? Who would have ever thought I'd say that? But it's true. I mean, it's not shocking that Nikki did that. It's not wild. It's not new. It's kind of boring. What is shocking to me is that Nicki Minaj has visited her brother in jail, the convicted pedophile. Now, if that isn't a public display of support, I don't know what is. If my brother was convicted of pedophilia and I was convinced, he, I mean, maybe she's not convinced that he's guilty. Maybe she believes him that this is all some extortion attempt. But let me tell you something. For a jury to have convicted this man of raping repeatedly an 11-year-old girl, finding him guilty... They had to have an overabundance of evidence that proved he did that. I don't want to talk anymore about Nicki Minaj because she's not worth my time. In other news, I have some very exciting relationship news. Guess who was spotted hanging out together again? The weekend and Bella Hadid. That's right, the exes are now getting reacquainted following his split with Selena Gomez. Now, I'm not saying they're dating officially, again, but I'm hinting at it. <laughs> the weekend was spotted at Bella's New York City apartment recently, and now sources are saying that they are hanging out. That be code for by tomorrow they're officially dating. Just give them 24 hours. <laughs> Speaking of Justin and Selena, they were spotted out on a date together at a park in Los Angeles. Still going strong, those two, so good on them. Also, Elon Musk, Mr. Musk, if you must, uh, is opening up about being single. 
Now, he is the billionaire head honcho over at Tesla and SpaceX. He's worth billions. He says over his split with Amber Heard, the actress, quote, well, she broke up with me more than I broke up with her. I think I was really in love and it hurt bad, he tells Rolling Stone. He goes on to say, I've been in severe emotional pain for the last few weeks. And he adds, I will never be happy without having someone. Going to sleep alone kills me. It's not like I don't know what that feels like. Being in a big, empty house and footsteps echoing through the hallway, no one there, and no one on the pillow next to you. Fuck. How do you make yourself happy in a situation like that? Call me. I will make you happy. He sounds really needy. And clingy, and I'm into that. That's the kind of man I want. I'm not even joking. I'm needy and clingy and jealous and insecure and possessive. Elon Musk and I would make a great match. And the fact that he's a billionaire, it doesn't hurt. I'm not even joking. Call me. Come on. He's really pretty. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's open. <laughs> I do feel bad for the guy. He clearly was more invested in that relationship than Amber Heard was. In other news, Kim Kardashian is having a girl. Congratulations. I need more coffee. Also, Kim Kardashian's four-year-old daughter, Northwest, reveals that she wants to be a YouTuber. She's told mom and dad that she wants to have her own YouTube channel. North loves watching YouTube videos of parents or kids unboxing toys. Kanye is not down with that, though. Kim is, and I think we know who's going to have the last say on that. I don't even think my kids know what that would mean to have a YouTube channel. Like, my son doesn't watch YouTube videos. He doesn't have an iPad. He barely watches TV. And I'm thankful for that. In other Kardashian-related news, Black China has dropped all the Kardashian sisters from her lawsuit against the family, except for Kim Kardashian. Black China has it out for Kim. That's personal. <laughs> yes, that ridiculous lawsuit blaming them over the canceled e-reality show. Ay ay ay. I gotta turn the speaker off there. Now onto some unsavory news. A third accuser has come forward alleging that former Gossip Girl actor Ed Westwick groped her. And yet still many women defend him. Also, Natasha Henstridge has opened up in a new interview today about how she was a victim of both Brett Ratner and Harvey Weinstein. I've got all the details of that up on my website, but I don't want to spend too much time today talking about disgusting men. Let's move on and talk about Kim Zolciak. On my podcast this week, I talk about her dog drama. If you haven't heard that yet, check it out. The Perez Hilton Podcast with Chris Booker. And this is a new development. Kim Zolciak's father, Sin, no, that's the name of the dog, <laughs> Joe Zolciak, gave an interview to In Touch in which he criticized his own daughter for keeping the dog. Speaking of dogs. Breaking the internet, I'm giving Rudolph analingus. <laughs> God, I'm such an idiot. Uh, is this going to keep going? All right, psh, turned it off. Whew. Anyways, Kim Zolciak's dad criticized her and in touch. My mom would know better than that. I'm sure the dad got paid for it, though. I'm thinking they're estranged. 
And if they're not estranged, they're going to be estranged. But more on that dog drama on my latest podcast. I also talk about my drama with Fifth Harmony, my drama with Taylor Swift, and lots of drama on the podcast this week. Check it out. The Perez Hilton Podcast with Chris Booker. Uh, speaking of drama, Rose McGowan says that she's not going to plead guilty to her cocaine arrest. I've got all the details of that up on my website right now. On to some music news. It was just announced that this next year's Warped Tour will be the last. It had a very long and successful run, though. I remember going to see Katy Perry perform on the Warped Tour back in 2008. Her career turned out pretty nicely. And finally... You know, there's been all this talk about awful men. I want to celebrate a fantastic man, Drake, during an after party that he was hosting at a club in Sydney, Australia. Drake observed a guy who appeared to be touching inappropriately women. Drake saw that and he responded in this way, saying, if you don't stop touching girls, I will come out there and fuck you up and then when the person didn't he continued if you don't stop putting your hands on girls i'm gonna come out there and fuck your ass up <laughs> ladies and gentlemen drake is the boyfriend the internet deserves and that's all i've got for today <laughs> thank you for watching i appreciate you if you enjoyed this video Hit the like button. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment, share, and you know the drill. If you're not following me yet, follow me. Let's right gather with you. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go.